Uh, one more thing I want to talk about here is the fuel system. Now at this sort of power level, as is pretty common, you're running on methanol fuel. And the problem with methanol fuel is that we need a lot of it in order to make the horsepower or keep the engine reliable compared to the likes of a gasoline based fuel. Uh, so can you talk us through the fuel system in terms of the injectors and how you're using those? Yeah, look, the, the car runs a brand new, we've got a brand new M150 um, in the car. It's basically the top of the range of everything in the MoTeC side of things. And um, we've, we've got a pretty good system in the fueling. We run a, a Kinsler fuel system that's driven off the back of our oil pump, dry sump pump system. That's pretty much one of the biggest Kinsler pumps that you can get in the thing. So we need big fuel delivery. We've got a tank, you probably see if you have a look around the car, we've got some big braided hoses instead of the softer hose that we run to the fuel system and the oiling system in the car. So we can get as much oil in there and as much fuel as we can. We're basically currently running, when we rent the 626 at home at 229, we came back and the talk was basically we wouldn't have even had a drip out of a garden hose, the fuel left on that run. And we were running, back then we were running one, two, we had three Siemens Deckers, the 2400s per, 2450s, whatever they are, per cylinder. So we sort of went, well, hang on, we're going to go to, and that was at 90 pounds, we want to go to 100, 110, 120 pounds eventually down the track. So we ended up having to redesign our inlet manifold and we put another two injectors underneath. So now we run five per cylinder. Now those 2450 Siemens Deckers, they are actually modified to 2750s. So we run five of those per cylinder and we also run two upstream on the inlet pipe to do some cooling. So there's a lot of fuel going into this motor. Can we just get back to those injectors on the inlet manifold? Five per cylinder is a lot of injector, let's be honest. Uh, how are you controlling that? Is, is there just a two staging for all five injectors or are you running three stages or even more? No, we, we actually, I think we run the primaries very low on idle in the idle area and that the primaries, but pretty much after that, you know, we've had previous where we can run a two stage and a three stage, but now we've got them all on a blend. So basically we've got the primaries and then what we call our secondaries and tertiaries. So secondaries are come in and the tertiaries come in, but they're all on a blend basically. So essentially inside of the ECU you've got three stages that yeah. the tuner can control and bring in as the fuel demands increase? Basically yes, yeah. And the two injectors that you've got in the charge pipe coming off your secondary turbocharger, so how are you using those? They basically just come on at a spot where we're at a, I think it's possibly a boost area that we're getting to or a, a heat area that we're starting to see that they'll just turn on through through the transition of the run. They're not running on, obviously on idle or anything like that, but when they've got some boost up its bum, it's running. So, If you like that video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you're subscribed. We release a new video every week. And if you like free stuff, we've got a great deal for you. Click the link in the description to claim your free spot to our next live lesson. You'll learn about performance engine building and EFI tuning, and you'll also have the chance to ask questions which I'll be answering live. Remember, it's 100% free, so follow the link to claim your spot.